It's like they're trying to be too meta. You're gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Much better. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can yeah. buy you a drink. You can. But, no, well, you well, I mean, he did pick up somebody we know. When you sidestep the question, that you technology does not exist. Really don't know why the fuck y'all are having me do this because I wasn't even fucking in this episode. Hey everybody, as you can tell, this is not Aaron or Zach because I have a lot sexier voice. This is Tim Pulsewaite again. You all know me from Thursdays here in Beaumont. I have been given the duty of introducing this episode. They are bringing you Bloodsport this time around. I apologize that I am not in this one, but do remember that you can watch along with them, as always, starting at the countdown. And always remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great content. With that being said, here is Bloodsport. Do you have that voice again? No. Sounds good. It's like a... Kind of like a Kevin Conroy Batman. You know, kind of sounds like a Phil Lamar. You give me like a lot of compliments and freaks me out. Just trying to get a little closer. All right, I I got you, I got you. This set right over here, this stand, like, if it comes a little too far, it falls over. Yeah, yeah. See, I was trying to get it in a position earlier and it kind of popped off. After what now? Maybe you could put like a counterweight on the other end. Oh, yeah, like a sandbag or something? Well, you can arrange the leg so that the... Yeah, you have to point it, but... You know, I'm... I'm sh- hey, I'm fucking this dog. I'm just saying. Y'all just fucking, fucking me. I'm fucking were, this dog late, right now. So. I'm fucking this dog. Y'all just hold the tail, all right? Hit record on that you tape were, recorder, you were dude. The one My stepdad used to say that shit to me all the time when I would try to help him do something. Hey, I'm fucking this dog. You just hold the tail. What? He was black. Oh. Mm. Well, that explains it. Explains why I'm so Can we hear the awesome. movie through the headphones? No, I got subtitles. You can hear a little volume, but yeah, yeah, it's it's you can yeah you can make it out. Let's see what you guys sound. Do sometimes, sound cool? sometimes when there's oh, a cool, yeah. if there'd be like a cool uh, pivotal like line coming, we'll be like, hey, check it out, check it out. This is like one of the best lines, and we'll all get quiet. Sometimes. What's this part? What's this part? What's this part? <clears throat> Make me regret this, Chris. Titties, <laughs> titties, titties. I'm just a sub, dude. I'm just gonna crunch you're ice just, you're just in the mic. To meet your demographic, so you bring me here, you know, <laughs> so you don't Whatever. get in trouble by, I don't know, those people. <laughs> we we buffed, we buffed our Latino numbers right now mm-hmm. with, with Chris. He's technically Latino. Latino. Uh, all right, is everybody ready? I'm ready. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's kick it. All right, everybody, welcome back to A to Z Movie Night. Uh, this time, our guests are we got Chris Corville coming back from Burbs. Hello. And we brought on, along a uh, podcast legend from the little area, uh, Mr. Chris Sastry from Hello, Real Talk. and thank you for that, Zach. From Real Talk <laughs> Beaumont. Real Talk Beaumont. <laughs> uh, yeah. these guys, the, Tim had to do something, something came up, so we decided to just make it happen anyway, and uh, thanks, thank you guys for coming. Like, thanks for having me. They were yeah, thank you very much. Uh, today's, or tonight's uh, movie is Bloodsport. It yeah, came out and, in 1988. Might, might interject that this is a uh, fan pick. We did, it, we, yeah, did it, we did it. We did it. We did a poll online. Yeah. We asked all you guys that are a, actually a to Z, listening. A to Z podcast group, uh, if you want to join. But yeah, we did a poll, and it beat out Brokeback Mountain. Thank God. <laughs> I think thank I actually voted Jesus. for Bloodsport. Shit. If yeah. I had known I'd been here, I would have put pick Brokeback. But I would have not allowed it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, surprised. I didn't know that Bloodsport would be so popular. But yeah. So this is our audience pick for this episode. A uh, little plot synopsis, real quick. U.S. soldier Frank Dukes, John Claude Van Damme. Uh, has come to Hong Kong to be accepted into the Kumite, a highly secret and extremely violent Kumite. martial arts competition. While trying to gain access into the underground world of clandestine fighters, he also has to avoid military officers who consider him to be AWOL. Uh, after enduring a difficult training and beginning a romance with journalist Janice Kent, uh, Frank is given the opportunity to fight, but can he survive? I guess uh, we'll see. Yeah, came out 88. Uh, <laughs> what, let me see, Rotten Tomatoes has it at 33, which is perfect for what we've been doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what's, that the toma- what's that, the tomato meter or the audience? I have no, I'm just looking oh. at Google. Oh, okay. So, we're going to start it off, uh, I think, right before there's this weird logo. So, we're going to kick it off in three, two, one. All right. Weird logo, huh? Let me see. That logo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Canon. 
I saw a documentary on that uh, on Canon Films. They're like weirdo, dirty, like Israeli kind of guys or Middle Eastern guys. Are they, they really? Yeah, that is mm-hmm. a documentary. They used to make porn. They just did a bunch of this shit. They're responsible are, for all the cool Asian. It's kind of like the guy who uh, who brought like Power Rangers to the mainstream. That was a uh, that was an Israeli know. dude too. No, Canon was kind of weird. They were known for just their absolute trash movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. We gotta look them up. It's a cool documentary, actually. All right, you can tell right off the bat that shit's getting real. Yeah. There's two bodyguards entering in this thing. And Bloodsport is written in red. Hell yeah. Which I find interesting. It's kind of a foreshadowing. (laughs) (laughs) What what could be foreshadowing, Chris? I don't... I don't understand. What is that? Bolo Yang, that's my dude. <laughs> y'all ever watch? Y'all ever seen? Uh, y'all ever seen Chinese Hercules? Yeah, that's the dude, right? <laughs> yeah, he's got, big he's got boss like, guy who's he's got, he's got, he like a weighs of, like a hundred pounds more in that movie. He's got so much upper. Just oh yeah, it's like the biggest chest, chest ever. There he is. There is he that is. Ernie Ray <laughs> Senior? I mean, he has some titties. Look at those titties. <laughs> those are the only titties you're gonna see in this movie, by the way. Oh yeah, he jiggles his tits, right? Like at the yeah, end. Yeah, kind of. I, I always thought it was Ernie Ray. Like I always thought it was Ernie Ray Junior's dad. Because he looks so much they, like Yeah, him. they look similar, yeah, I'd do. say. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> of course Facial it is. features. Oh, of course it is. Lips. There's a lot going on from the get-go. I mean, it starts yeah. with a montage. So. It jumps yeah. right into the action. You know it's the 80s when there's several montages in a movie. <laughs> this one has like 10. Man. <laughs> Who are all these? Shit. Cannon, Cannon group cool. did a lot of... Yeah, they did a lot of terrible movies. These are some dance fighters. Some Brazilian dance fighters. It's too bad, like, in real life, you can't, you know, train or, like, work out, like, in a montage. And, like, in <laughs> two minutes, you're just buff and ready. That would be great, wouldn't it? For the biggest challenge of your life. <laughs> Here's and, Ogre. No, Ogre. Ogre. Zach, what's what's the character's name for Ogre? What's his name? Jackson. That's uh, it. Roy That's Jackson, it. Jackson or Ray Jackson? Need a few more Ray Jackson. Jackson. Ray Jackson. Oh, Donald Gibb. Only if you fuck up. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> Holy I shit, like Ken, Ken Group has like a laundry list of shitty movies. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. For like much all the 80s. They did Superman 4. Oh yeah. my god, bro. Like that's, <laughs> no, that's <laughs> an indication. And shit. The documentary came out probably like, I'd say like four years ago maybe. Yeah. It's semi-interesting. Watch. <laughs> if you're into shitty movies, you know, those are the guys responsible. That's the stage, and the stage changes through the whole thing. It does. It changes size a bunch of times. Well, they 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 make it smaller, and then they make it like slanted or something like that. Yeah, I think the the very end, it's like it both sides slant down towards the center, almost like a really mellow half pipe. Tell him I'll be right there after I take a shower. He's a good looking guy, I gotta say. Acting oh, chops. Yeah, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. Not so much. Well. But the dude could roundhouse. God I mean, damn. I mean, he has the same kind of thing as Schwarzenegger had, you know, where he can barely speak English, but... Right. Yeah. But uh, Jean-Claude gets boners when he's dancing with women. <laughs> is that a fact? To, as compared to who? What, what movie was that in? I, I think I know I what you're talking about. I think he was about. on, like, a talk show, and he, <laughs> he started dancing with some chick, and he got a boner. Well, if you watch Pumping Iron with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's like, I'm in the gym all day and all night, and I'm calming. When I lift and I get, I get, you know, when I lift the weights and I do my biceps, it's like I'm calming with my arms. So all day and all night I'm calming. Is that whenever the girl starts laughing at him and then he like shoves her down on the couch? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> He's a weird dude. He's just coming all day and all night. I got a buddy of mine. Uh, he plays drums and he went off to Asia and started touring with like these these cover bands that are pretty big out there. Mm-hmm. And he and he sent me a picture one night. Uh, he, he John Claude Van Damme was at a club that he was at somewhere in Southeast Asia. <laughs> nice. And he said that dude, yeah, dude, that he said that dude was super into. He said it was a nice guy, but like just like ob- like the picture, his eyes are like this fucking big, like yeah, no, he's yeah, he was probably yeah. partying. Oh, yeah. most likely, yeah. He said he was crazy. He did like ten shots. It's amazing. I mean, he looks the same though. Like he looks, he looks not as young as that, but. You figured you'd have a heart attack. I mean, these guys, he's still in, like, super shape, you know? Uh, so that takes a lot of working out. And to put, like, fucking cocaine on top of that, how does your heart not explode? Jeans, man. That's why wrestlers die at 50. Take a lot of pain pills? Wrestlers dying at 50? No, it's because it's it's cocaine is a, it's a 
Don't talk off the mic, you. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> lazy, lazy man. Come here. I'm not lazy. We just gotta get this coffee going. Anyway, the reason why uh, wrestlers die at 50 is because cocaine is a vasoconstrictor, meaning it, you know, yeah. takes up your blood pressure and, and tightens your veins. Absolutely. And then they work out. Which is something that's a vasodilator. So it makes your heart pump. Really you know, hard. so it's confusing yeah. to the heart. It's, so your your heart's constricting while your your body's forcing more blood through it, and you're just like, well, that's it. I'm dead. Well, that's I don't my know. Point. Rick Flair's died like twenty thousand times. <laughs> yeah. Been resurrected. Woo! Is Woo! he finally Woo! actually dead right, now? All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's not dead yet. I don't really? think he'll ever die. No. Like you can't yeah. say Ric Flair without expecting everyone to woo. I know, but just don't. Not so close. I didn't. Mind control, son. Yeah. For the record, I didn't woo. Yeah, okay. so they because I'm a fucking Stone Cold fan. The, okay. I I recognize zero of these movies other than Bud's Sword, and it's like it's, it's like a hundred. You recognize Superman four? Yeah, but that's it. They did a Walker Texas Ranger. No, I thing. think you know. I think they might have. <laughs> they did Robocop. a couple. They did a couple episodes, maybe movies of Walker Texas Texas Ranger. Because that logo is like on every movie back then. That Oxygen kind of thing. Robocop? Let me look. Let me well, it's probably similar to another logo. I don't know. Very special. Or maybe that's just them distributing. Oh, movie. the Death Wish sequels. Oh, <laughs> they didn't. They did Delta Force. Right. There you go. All right. They had. Okay. They had a few movies that they were known for. The Ninja Trilogy. Ninja. What the Three Ninja Trilogy? N- uh, American no. Ninja. Uh, Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, Ninja Three. I think they did American Ninja too. <laughs> And one and three and, son, and four. And so, <laughs> so do you guys do you guys know like the uh, the story of the supposed character of this guy Frank Dukes? Do y'all know anything about him? No, no. Because like when you're a kid, I don't know if you guys watch this movie when you're a kid. Like this I was did. based on a true story. Yeah, the oh. very, you watch this movie when you're a kid, and you're pumped the fuck up. You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna go outside and hit a tree and everything. And it pumps you up. And then right before the credits roll, it's like. Based on true events, and it tells you a little thing about Frank Dukes and stuff. Hmm. And you're like, what? That's true? Well, it turns out that the guy's like a notorious fucking liar. Like, <laughs> well, really? Shit. Nobody has yeah. any proof, okay. Allegedly. I'll say allegedly. But so it, there's no proof of any of this being possibly true? Well, there's, yeah, no. This is like gotcha. a dramatization, but he, this guy's like epically known for like... The, the big story is, is basically like he told somebody he had to go to this fighting tournament or whatever... He he gets dropped off at the woods. He walks and, into yeah, the, in woods, the woods and with he a comes big back. Bag. He, he comes back three <laughs> days later with a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes he goes into the woods with a big trophy shaped duffel bag. So yeah. it's basically comes, out with, comes out with a trophy. Comes out with a trophy. Sans mm. duffel bag. So so like there was a, there's a video online. I forgot what it was called, but they kind of like debunked the math of it. Uh, oh, and it yeah. basically, they basically, like, how he described is that there was, like, four fights in the morning, four fights at night. You had to fight this many people over this many days or whatever. It was, like, 60. He, yeah, and fight, get, he said he had to fight 60 times. Yeah. And in bracketology, if it was a single yeah, and elimination And he did the math. Round. It would have taken 72 quadrillion uh, <laughs> competitors yeah. if, that was what, if that was the tournament. So, <laughs> so we're going to go on a limb and say that he's probably full of shit. No, totally full of yeah, shit. Totally. Yeah, totally. Well, maybe he just, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, this was, this, whenever he came to power or became known as, like, back in the day in the 60s, 70s, well, 70s and 80s, like, you, there was no internet. You had no proof of what these people knew. Martial arts That's was true. new. You know, like it was it was new to America. Yeah, yeah. And, and and there was a lot of there, there was, was a lot, lot of bullshitters. Uh, like uh, there was a lot of McDojos popping up. Yeah, yeah, like right. Napoleon Dynamite. That one guy. Yeah. There was <laughs> a lot Rick of Quando. those people, and nobody, you know, nobody knew anything, and they he couldn't is Rick prove Quando, they couldn't yeah. prove him wrong. <laughs> and he uh, he did an interview, I think, with like uh, Karate Magazine or something about the about this yeah, movie. Oh, sorry. And uh, <laughs> he he said he he said he almost got in a fight with with uh, old. You know Jean Claude Van Damme on the rooftop of whatever motel they were gonna stay in, and he like scared him. And Van Damme was like, "He's like, Frank, you're crazy, you're crazy," and just walked off. He's like, "Yeah." He said we were standing on a on a on a, a suspended beam that was twelve inches across. Wow. He was like, "Come on, Jean Claude Van Damme, we're gonna fight right here." That that was back in the day where you could like. Like leave your family and move ten miles away and start a new life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like because there's nobody knew anything. There was no, there's no there just landlines. There's right. no location that was back services. In the day, like you could, you, like there were those guys that like you had like five families spread across the United States. <laughs> if you were a private investigator, you'd have, have to actually go to the library and look up newspapers and shit. Well, you right. know, people, it's just like a human thing. Knowledge. It's a bad storm. No, it'd, be, it'd be cool if like we just lost power or something. <laughs> yeah, which could very well happen. The mics will still go. 
Kill no, but uh, people, it's just human nature to exaggerate stories. Like, I, I still tell girls, like, I have a three-inch dick. And that's know? exaggerating. And that's an overstatement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I feel you, man. Well, this isn't even just, I mean, exaggerating is one thing. This is like fabrication. Total, like, what is that? What's that called whenever you just constantly lie all the time? Yeah. Um, Pathological liar. Yeah, this, this, liar, like, yeah. Frank Dukes is. Like, just sociopath. <laughs> like, he. You could go. Obviously, he went so far that there was a movie made based on a story with Jean Claude Van Damme. So, like, yeah. the level of bullshit that you have to—it's almost like he—he he has to believe it him, himself. You know. Well, eventually, I mean, people that get that crazy, I mean, they—they they start to believe their own lies. Right. I mean, you could probably plug him up. Yeah. And yeah. He would... <laughs> like I believe I have a three-inch dick. Hey man. I, I walk hope... around feeling that way. I hope you do at least have a three-inch. Dick. You ever tasted your own semen? We talked about this the other night. No, we're really but, getting into uh, blood sport right now, aren't we? Two, two nights ago, I was jacking <laughs> off, and it came like right on my nostril. It shot up there, Dang, and I was like, that, "You have that much pressure still?" Damn. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Ladies, but uh, yeah, and I thought about it because of our conversation. It was like dripping down, and it almost went on my oh tongue. My God, and I was like, okay. "No." I better clean, wipe this off my couch before anybody notices. So for the listeners, we're still watching the movie. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. So. Have they done the, the backstory whenever he's a kid? They did. They yeah, did the so, backstory. So the backstory so if, that you're, was if you're catching to be him, up. That and you could tell that, like, this is just the nice old Asian man that was in the neighborhood. He, 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 he They go into this house, and they were going to steal his sword. He gets stopped by his kid, and then instead of, like, punishing him, he said, well, you're going to train with me. Because he, he, he didn't flinch because he had the fighting spirit. Or so he was the kid. But a minute ago, he was standing like right there in the it's scene. Called, it's called a flashback. It's like, this is like... Uh, well, he walked into the house and he had the Christmas flashback or, to remember. Or, and I'll tell you guys too, as, as, a, as, a, as a guy who actually practices martial arts, that's what we do. We reach in and grab <laughs> fish with our bare hands. Like, that's, the kind of, that's the real shit training right there. Totally, yeah, Where gonna, around here do you go to do that for the fish? I go to the creek. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Village Craig? I go to the Village Craig. You go to the Village Craig? I go to the Village Craig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we, we all There's go down as a class. There's a split. We all go down as a class and we just practice. Gotcha. Snatch and I also, up, I also snatch serve tea blindfolded. <laughs> dude, that shit's so, easy, dude. That's what Come I do. On. Look at the volume of her hair. I'm, so you think she she, oh, no. she wanted to bang him? She totally wanted to bang him. Oh, yeah. How she looks at him, you know? Uh, everyone wanted to bang Jean Claude. Oh, look at him. He looks like he's ready to go play golf blindfolded. Yeah. I think this is the one where he dances, dude. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's a different movie. All right. Look at this shaky mind. camera. Actually, yeah, you're right. They didn't have a fucking tripod or something. I actually don't remember any of this, so it's been a while. It's been a while. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> it's this Jedi moment right there. Dude, that's right so there. easy to do. Okay. Look at her. She does. She does want to bang him. Yeah. That's weird. She's got some bedroom eyes. That's they probably, to be they like probably his, share. That's like your adopted son, lady. Yeah. They probably share him. Well, they didn't adopt him. I mean, he still had a family. He just yeah, you know, was know. over there all the time. And that's a really easy. They're like, yeah, cool, take that's him one. away. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have a little dings counter. and a counter every time you make a phone call. Oh, okay. Chris, so I'm not trying to encourage you. I really not. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that, that is a little plot device that <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> miss, or because it's glazed over so quick. Nothing. The reason why he wants to go to the Kumite in the first place is because this old guy's son, who they were, you know, training partners with his kid, went to the Kumite and died. Oh, yeah. You know, so that's what he's doing. But he sees him, he sees potential in this guy. No, that's like a total revenge thing, and it's it, it's lost in the plot, but... So this is before he goes over and after he left the military? No, yeah, this is, he left that base. Okay. Immediately, and then he came over here because, you know, old, old boy died, and he comes here, he's like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the Kumite, I'm going to win for him. I'm trying to do a Jean Claude, but I can't. Is this punishment or is this like training? This is training, dude. I read, I read, no, I read an article. Over the real deal I read an training. article uh, of an interview with Jean Claude Van Damme that said that thing, like what what's yeah. happening, is actually like it's a thing, and it really it 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 translates into you know taking fighting and, and to whatever. Like that's something that exists. I don't well, know. I mean, what look, it's, called. It, it's a. I mean, it's like a workout, dude. It's yeah, a rack. it's like. Kind of meditating to get over the pain, I guess. Man, it is thundering really hard outside. Yeah, it's Man. a really bad storm out there. My dogs are probably freaking out. He's gonna fucking take down those trees, dude. He doesn't give a fuck. Look at him. He's he's, he's getting up. Look at that determination. He's doing that with his dick. Why is his mouth all glistening? <laughs> <laughs> all right, speaking of dicks, I have to do a call. 
a shout out to Hannah McMahon. She knows apparently that I'm recording and she sent me a picture of a giant bag of dicks. <laughs> oh, that's nice. cool. Uh oh, shit. What? There it goes. You're ready. All right, I think we need to go in the yard and make one of these devices. Because I really it just seems like one of the most painful I really things need to work, possible. I need to work on my flexibility, like, big time. I love those old, like, pulleys and hooks, you know, like from Karate Kid 2. Or like Hellraiser. Mm. <laughs> I really do like the uh, the glow filter they put on this camera yeah. Yeah. right now. It it's makes little, it kind of mystical. With a little oil on the lens, you know. That soft focus. <laughs> God, he's got great complexion. Just look at him. Not him. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Just me or the guy training him kind of reminds me of Betty from Kung Pao. Yeah, what is that dude from? He's been in other shit. Probably I another. am Betty. <laughs> <laughs> name's supposed to be. I love that movie, dude. <laughs> me too. I'm still waiting the sequel. Wee I'll wait forever wee 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 for that. Ninjutsu. <laughs> Sinzo Tanaka. Ooh, you hear that crack? Damn. Damn. Oh. Damn. I actually Yo, heard the crackling before we're getting it scared. Hit. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Roy Chow. Wow. Well, if it shuts down, we'll just wait and then we'll start over again. Yeah. Well, this, that's probably the mics are probably. Oh, dude, it up. I love that. I nice love the backdrop. You know what he? We you know what he was in. What he played Lao Chi in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If, he's not the guy that pulls the heart out, but he's one of the. No, bad he's guys. sitting at the table. He's yeah. like the main guy. Yeah. <sighs> that's funny. That's why I had that soft, dreamy filter on it because it was all like a, a, a introspective okay, flashback. Buddy. Rocky's freaking out. I yeah, knew. So are my dogs too. Are you awake, Shidoshi? Hey, Rocky, what's up? You can't deal with the storm? <laughs> How are you feeling? So Frank Dukes is supposed to be American, I guess. Frank Dukes is a, he is an American martial artist. But he just has uh, an odd the L- accent for some reason. In the L.A. area. Uh, and he's sure. been doing it for a long time. And Frank Dukes is the most generic American sounding name I could ever possibly imagine. Dukes is not very generic. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it's tough as fuck. Of, no, Dukes. Put, your, like put a, your Dukes Frank in. Dukes. Sounds like a fucking 80s cartoon character. No, like a... There's a guy named Frank Dukes out of Canyon, had, I'm sure. Like the most common names, like John... What's his name? Uh, in fucking Kindergarten Cop. John Powers. John like Tuttle that. or something. <laughs> John Tuttle? <laughs> What's his fucking name? Yeah. <laughs> I just remember the bad guy's name was Crisp. That's all I remember. Crisp? Crisp. Crisp. In Kindergarten Cop? Kindergarten Cop. C-R... The kid's dad? I-S-P. No, the, the villain. Guy. His name was Crisp. Yeah, it was to get the crisp. The that, bad guy that was, was his kid's dad. Yeah, the bad guy was the kid's dad. He came and like took him away. His name was Crisp. <laughs> Whatever. Right? I don't. This know. Scene, has, I mean, it's totally sponsored by Harley Davidson. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And ogre, I mean, dude. I wonder what that guy's up to. That's what my attire right now is. Hey, I'm wearing my I'm wearing my ogre big. attire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? He's got a sleeveless shirt with America on it. The fuck America flag tiger boy. American flag tiger. I hope that girl gets that's naked. That's me. I'm the island. But, you know, I hope they do it tastefully. The only nudity in this movie is male, I'm sorry to say. You well, know what? You, you know what, Sastry? What? You should probably just go to Asia. You might fit in. Kumite. Yeah? Yeah. Why yeah. you say that, man? Probably from the inch just from, just, thing. Why just you from, say that? Just height and, I mean, you have darker hair. Yeah. shorter. Uh, when I used to drive my friends around, my uh, front, <laughs> they'd sit in the back seat and uh, tell me I look Chinese from the back. <laughs> oh, oh, we like to have a good time. So here's a love interest. The actress, I forget her name because she went on to do pretty much nothing. Like right. Most of the ones from this. this. She kind of has like an L. McPherson thing going this, uh, on. This day and age. Or Tawny Katane. <laughs> But it's not her. Man, Ogre is cool. He was really focused into that game until he realized Van Damme was behind him. Yeah. Sure, I'll try it. Well, it, he would... That's what I like he would... He would uh, he's oh, he's offering to play with him, right? They're wanting to play. Okay, they're playing together. Sure, I'd play your game. <laughs> that, wasn't a bad, that wasn't a bad... I mean, another similarity <laughs> that, that Van Damme has to Schwarzenegger is that they're both, they're both so not American that they have... Yeah. They have bad accents, but like they're always put in positions where like, like Schwarzenegger probably would have never worked for the Secret Service or been in a platoon. Yeah. Like it, 
you, you know, like he was most likely but raised back then, in another country. People like, were willing, willing to suspend the disbelief that much. Like, oh, no, don't worry about it. People will buy it. Well, you've, you've seen, have, um, you've seen you, Hercules in New York, right? Confused. His first oh, yeah, movie. His first movie. Uh-uh. Where he's yeah. trash. Oh, like they have to overdub. <clears throat> Excuse me. You a they overdub Arnold Schwarzenegger okay. because his, his English was so, so terrible. Yeah. So you have a giant, the biggest Schwarzenegger that you've ever seen in <laughs> film before, <laughs> and the voice that comes out of him is, "I am Hercules, son of Zeus." <laughs> yeah, dude, look it up. What game it's is insane. That? Fucking karate or something? Do you guys remember playing this game? It was on uh, NES. I played yeah, this game like on. Played I game. played it at the tilt. I never is it won. Karate tournament or something? Not that it was just. Uh, like full contact karate, it kind of got old after a while because you only needed like three points to win. Yeah, it looks so like the games were over like very sucks. quickly. Man, that lady's kind of hot, dude. <laughs> she keeps giving everybody bedroom eyes, <laughs> even Forrest Wait a Whitaker. Minute. That's Miss Forrest T- Whitaker. This yeah. is Tanaka? You're yeah. kidding me. Yeah, you, you forgot that Forrest Whitaker was in this? I haven't well, she, seen this well, you know, she, like used to, she used to be a geisha. Like, she's been through some. Visited Mr. Tanaka here That's recently. tight. Yeah, well, Forrest Mr. Whitaker, look at him. Too bad Forrest Whitaker can't really give bedroom eyes. You don't think he can? His eye looks only where he can do it. He can. No, it's still, he's still, he still has a lazy eye. He can only give one bedroom eye. <laughs> this is probably back whenever he's trying to hide it. You know, now he owns the shit out of it. No, if he was yeah. going to Hong Kong. I love that meme with Forrest Whitaker where there's a line drawn down the middle of his face. One side says sativa, one side says indica. Very much for your time. Gotcha. Man, this is a bad lightning storm out there. Are you getting ups- are, you, are you getting upset or afraid? Do you need comforting on any level? Uh, well, oh, oh God! You guys could share the. Did chair. everybody at home hear that? <laughs> if this is our last, uh, uh, I'm gonna get a beer. Actually, can, can you, somebody can hear me? That's text? closer. Sure. And pack of cigarettes as well. Ducks. No. No, no, no. It's and uh, <laughs> maybe a pizza. Dukes. Like put up I was going to eat these chips, put but then, you know, you just hear crunching deal. on the this mic the whole time. Ever. We got yeah, from all over Thanks, Chris. I've been assigned by the hmm. IFAA to help you. Oh, yeah, this whole this whole thing, too, is another part of the fabrication. The IFAA supposedly sure is like... It it's like, why are they an organization of illegal fighting? fighting oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they have those all the time. The IFAA, the International <laughs> Fighters of American America. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it stands for, but supposedly it's fake. Here it comes, man. The war city. Not a Dude. place for outsiders. Now, look, that's fucking style. Deep <laughs> scoop neck. Like, oh, yeah. Like tank top with a leather jacket. Oh, yeah. That is, that is hot. In the middle of a tourist paradise. We should ask Jacob if that style going to come back agreement. around. He might know. <laughs> I think I've seen him something wearing something kind of like that. A little more conservative. It's time to protect your nuts, guys. So this is supposed to be Hong Kong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The tallest Chinese man that they could find. Okay, USA. Fucked up face. He's got gigantism. Okay, he does have gigantism. Or at least a pituitary gland disorder. That's going to make you feel bad to have gigantism and still be shorter than (laughs) Ray Jackson. This scene right here is actually, uh, it's been homaged in several movies. Where they're going through this super seedy looking. Right, this is like on Beer Fest. Uh, yeah, Beer Fest. <laughs> directly, like, directly homage this, yeah. uh, this scene right here. Good call. There's, yeah, this is like in a lot of movies. Yeah. But it, it really started you... here in Bloodsport? Mm hmm. No. It did. It did. Well, it's like that whole idea of like, uh, it's these are the slums, but it's all this big block of yeah. endless alleys and cities, like uh, Dread. It's kind of based around, like, there's a. Right. Like, there's a uh, there's a Korean movie that I think came out that was about it was like a super tower of apartments same thing as what Dread same was oh, but yeah. they had to work their way up the levels what like a pagoda it's a pagoda no that's that's a that's Japanese and like traditional house I'm talking about like a sorry I was out for a minute like like a slums like apartment block that is completely like enclosed and it's a lot of people live there and they have shops in it and it's all like back alleys and right. stuff like that. Like a barrio? I don't know. I think that just means neighborhood. I think it just means hood. Uh, slums. Yeah, uh, the favelas. The favelas in 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 uh, like Brazil, in Brazil is yeah. kind of a, a similar kind of thing. But they're really they're really like heavy-handedly telling you right now, we are going off the beaten path. We're gonna go to the Kumite. 
It is like deep inside the, the hood. There's some hood shit, dog. He said where the sunlight stops. I just yeah. want to give a, a quick shout out to uh, Chris Corville, who's sitting next to me. And he's being very, very helpful and accommodating to me. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad he is, because you know we're not going to be. <laughs> Pink shorts. That guy's tough as fuck. I don't, hey, uh, Zach. Huh. Are there any real fighters in this in this movie? John Claude, John Claude. The other day when I was telling you about these uh, different kickboxers and showing the highlights. Oh no, that's right. Uh, there's no stuntmen. There's no stuntmen. Zero stuntmen. Even ogre. Really? I mean, yeah, ogre every, like knows what he's doing. Everybody does yeah. their own shit. Everybody does their own stuff. Prove to them you can stand and and not get killed. They're just like, yeah, uh, uh, it's not in the budget, so. Well, you know, like Bolo Yang, he's been a martial artist mm -hmm. his whole life. Obviously, Jean Claude Van Damme is. A, a real martial artist. O but, uh, Ogre's like the only one who's really not. Is he? Or maybe he was like a wrestler or something. Maybe he was a wrestler. He looks like a wrestler. I mean, he's a big guy. Rangers. He doesn't like nerves. He's like 6'6 six, six or some shit. Donald Gibbs is his name. He represents the Tanaka Nerds. No, he played for the Chargers. Don't look like Tanaka. Okay, oh, really? Foosball Briefly. Player. Briefly for the truth. That does look right, world. actually. He says, Senzo Tanaka. He's a pretty good actor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, whatever. he's fantastic. Like, you know, hey, he really is incredible, it's, especially in the second Nerds film when he became a nerd. <laughs> that was a very oh, yeah. powerful that, moment. That was. Doesn't it like uh, eventually he becomes their friend? Like yeah, it was in the yeah, third. He becomes a nerd. Okay. No, it's the second one. Fort Lauderdale, baby. It's amazing to see back then movies like that. They turn into huge fucking phenomenons. Yeah, it's a dumb movie, Revenge of the Nerds. Well, you can't even Don't make knock it. you can't even make a movie like that. You remember the scene? No, I mean, do you remember the scene wherever, uh, wherever Gil like puts on the Darth Vader mask and goes yeah, that, he goes down like, on carnival, that and ends up like going down on that girl. Per, like posing as her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, totally yeah. rape. Yeah, that's like that's fucking. That's not a, only that, but that's yeah. a weren't rape they like scene. peeping toms? Didn't they like put was, all kinds of like that things was, up? That was, to, like, yeah. that was Porky's, but. No, they um, did do that. Yeah. They did like a panty raid. Yeah, they did, uh, they do, did do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're no, right. it was completely like. Well, no, whenever they. Well, no, that was Animal House. So they put the ladder up to the. No, that was, it was just in all of them. House. There was. Yeah. There was. Yeah. Yeah. It was in all of them. <laughs> it's in all because hey, that hey. is regular behavior for college let me, students. Let me tell you guys something. Boys will be boys. Yeah. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. <laughs> let the boys be boys. Everybody's watching. I'm like, this is. This Look at this test. muscle shirt though. I'm just way kidding. That's actually not mine. So how come like in jujitsu nobody breaks bricks, dude? What? He broke the bottom brick? That takes, like, a little TLC. I used to break boards when I was a kid in Taekwondo. Boards, boards. don't hit back. Boards, don't hit back. I took Taekwondo Son for, uh, it was a 30-minute free trial, and uh, <laughs> my parents never enrolled me. 30 minutes? I got to, uh... Yeah, I was, I was able to run around got, with the other kids. I got to cool. blue belt in Taekwondo. Like I got right, Silsby. Right whenever you start sparring. In Silsby? No, it was in Lumberton. Oh, in Lumberton? Yeah, right whenever you get started. We started sparring right off the fucking bat. Yeah, they yeah did we had, I had uh, Black Dragon Kung Fu Karate. Oh, Black Dragon. That was right right around uh, Laurel Street? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had to do my kata. Like I said, I was, I was in Lumberton. They're kind of... They're... I made it to Yellow Belt, but that's just because I peed on the White Belt. I was terrible. I could break those boards, though. I was afraid of breaking boards. That was like the test to get to like green belt or something. I was like, man, I can't They were do easy that. to break, dude. Are they like kind of pre-cut or something? No, they're just like only like an Once inch you learn thing. how to punch through something, but it's like there's not much to the it. The grain is going in your favor or something, right? Because they always break so uniformly. Well, they're probably just they're thin. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean they're just an inch thin and they do break with the grain. Yeah. Like the grain is this way, so you can split it. Yeah. It's true. Vertical. Yeah. You have to see it first and then do it. The kumite? But I never liked it because boards don't hit back. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> break boards anymore. I just wrestle with boards. I wrestle with them. I went to a school <laughs> roll around. after karate. The boards, then, I, then, I, then I studied uh, like under, under Thurgood uh, Smith, and he just we just slapping people all the time. He taught me the proper way to slap <laughs> people. <laughs> and like, uh, that hand, right? <laughs> we all know that the kumite is happening here in Hong Kong. And we all know what's going on over there. Just slapping little kids. I, I've been doing charity now, you know, go to little kids of we'll America and slap them. <laughs> so you're going on record that you slap little kids? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a little kid back then, I'm sure. He's told me no, before, I, he's like, I thought it was current. I, I, I still contribute to the little he kids. He tells me, he's like, he's like, hey, man, you teaching little kids in jiu-jitsu? I'm like, yeah, I got to teach kids. He's like, he's like, you want me to come in there and assist? I teach them how to slap people, bro. Teach him little kids how to slap everybody. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm good. There's a technique involved. For an interview. Yeah, you cup your hand and hit him in the ear. Slap him in the, in the ear, in the lip, 
Anything, man. I love this. I love this fucking fighter too. This this <laughs> very Saudi, obviously he's supposed to be Saudi, but yeah, he don't even like that slow drawback. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like Asian though. They just they're like, Leave the all right, let's 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 put a he's fucking handkerchief. We need to make head. it known that a, bu- a bunch of different people are here. Starts one day. Yeah, exactly. We need to we need to have representatives all over the world and that's, to make the that guy's pick. obviously well, right. That like guy's a, obviously not Middle Eastern. <laughs> he's obviously Asian as fuck. But they are from all over the world. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to. <laughs> Just for her. Is it is it racist if a movie is like, like you know how yes. everybody calls uh, movies whitewashed, what is right? That? Like, would it be racist if a movie this. was Asian washed? If I like, can grab it, this absolutely, Asian, absolutely not. Mm, this dude, no. pr- this dude is pretending to be a I'll Saudi. Be and he's he's like not. Vietnamese. Dude, yeah, like uh, fucking. She's yours. I don't know. Rush Hour was pretty Asian washed. You can't do this. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> It's the 80s. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wage her over a girl like she's an object. Flip a coin and see who leaves her alone. Ready? Are they flipping a coin to see who no, gets to, to catch do it? it? He has to catch in the, the air. Oh, just okay. like that fucking back. Back. Uh, he's training. To, his yeah. confidence level is through the roof. He has to get it out of his hand before he closes it. <laughs> Chuck again. That's so cool. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, he Whoa. switched it out. Uh, you see, those, you see that bracelet? Badass. Like, have you not seen those since like the nineties? <laughs> no, need the lady. She won. He won a girl over a coin toss. Well, it had to be because I don't know if you heard their right. guide, but they said you cannot get in a fight outside of the Kumite. You get kicked out. Yeah, you DQ, bro. Absolutely, Dairy Queen. I'm a reporter. That's what I like Man, about look Texas. Look at that shirt. <laughs> I had a country basket the other day, dude. It was nice. Steak or chicken? Chicken. That's what I'm talking about. But the steak fingers are very... Shout out to the costume designer of this movie. Great job. Mm-hmm. Great yeah. job. This movie definitely does got not feel com- dated. They got some complimenting colors going there, you know? They're probably just... I love yeah, an, just bring your own clothes. I love an oversized mustard shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does look good. It's more like a, well, I mean, like of, co- light of course it looks butter. good with his complexion. You know, he has five pounds of makeup on. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme's face is contoured. He literally, like, that's where the Kardashians got it from. They watched Bloodsport. Have we ever seen Jean-Claude Van Damme with a legitimate beard? Okay, I don't know. Huh. Or are we just so. always looking at the fair face Jean-Claude? Yeah, that's a good question. I think in one movie, well, he maybe never, he had one, he, like, wall. He was... He never even changes his haircut. It's always the same exact length. No, in Hard Target, he's got the... Uh, oh, yeah, Hard Target. Oh, no, he's got, the, he's got the that's jury right. curl on this one. That's right. right. In Hard Target. That's Hard Target. This is yeah. the famous then, scene of him and, doing the splits with the two chairs, right? <laughs> Double Impact, his twin brother has the slick back hair, so you can that's tell That's actually his twin brother. It's yeah, like it's this really movie has set him up, <laughs> set him up to do that Claude. for the rest of his life. Like, he did that Volkswagen commercial where he did the splits between the trucks or whatever. That was tight. Yeah. That was a Yo, Volvo. Yeah. Volvo, yeah. But that was real, though. Yeah. That yeah. was a real stunt. You copy? Yeah, he can really do a split. <laughs> really well. It's time to get ready. Time Cop is the best one, because he has to jump up and do it, right? Where they're shooting, like, at his nuts. Hey, you know, you better stop doing just that stuff. misses his nuts. Kids I don't know, dude. This, this looks so incredibly uncomfortable to me. <laughs> Seriously. I know. His chode is, Victor's like... Downstairs. Probably irritated. Leaves in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can any of you guys do the splits? I want to see. I want to see you guys try to do. The I splits. used to be able to do the splits. Yeah. If I was to try now, I'd probably let me, let me have see. a seizure. Try it. Try. I only I do it when I'm taking a shit. You really want me to try to do the splits? I, I want to see you try. I mean, the slick floor. I think. I want to see mm, it. I can't. I want to see if you can do it. I'm wearing That's tight joggers. I'm really surprised if you could do it. I'm wearing tight joggers you right now, so I can't I... do it. You know, there's like, no way I could do it. I haven't. I've never, I have I've, not I'm stretched not those, at all. those little muscles. I'm, 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 I just want to see in you try. ages. You can do the. You can do it front ways or sideways. Pussy, pussy. 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 I smell a new Harley Davidson shirt. Let me see you do it. Come on. They are gonna love. By the way, I forgot to ask. I'll do it before the podcast. Can we cuss on the show? Yeah, absolutely. Profanity and shit. Absolutely. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Say whatever the hell you want. See that I just cursed right there. I said heck. <sighs> Kumite commencement. You can say whatever you're comfortable with it. people hearing. Really? Forever. Whatever I am comfortable with people hearing. Yes. Well, I don't care what you say. Of it. the world. Today, <laughs> it's true. You become part of a tradition that began it reminds me of Iron Chef. <laughs> Cooking up some violence. <laughs> the chairman. This is the chairman speaking right now. Today's secret ingredient will be. 
death. Let <laughs> 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 you kick up a nice game of tea, you know? Five years. The best Give it a nice sauce. dash of violence. Dude. Kind of reminds me of Peking. I love that Chinese restaurant. I had to close it down. Oh, no, no, no windows shit. that had multiple hey, well, yeah. offshoot you know red doors. I mean, it was delicious. It, at least, I mean, Peking's gone and mm. will forever be sad, but at least it got replaced with Taz. I have yet to I've go. never eaten there, yeah. It's, fucking it's delicious. Not like really, it's, delicious. it's like curry and shit. Hell yeah, it's yeah. good. I can't, I can't do that too often, but yeah. It's, yeah it's good. See, I've always wanted to go with somebody that knows like what I should get because we'll I've never we'll I've go never gone boy. before I mean I've we'll go gotten that shit at like uh, you know uh, Chapa Thai and stuff before is it it's different it is it's different yeah. Prevail. I'm not a big curry guy alright so you know you know something I think is really funny this movie was like 88 right mm-hmm. so I guarantee you that like this idea of a kumite type of sort of thing the, uh, yeah. a, a, a tournament between all these different martial artists I guarantee this like had some sort of Impact on MMA, the origins of it, or Mortal Kombat. I could see that. Cause you remember, like the first UFC, I think was in 1993. The very first UFC was in '93, and like people were freaking out because it was wrestlers going against sumo guys, going against karate guys, yeah. boxers. Dude, yeah, jiu-jitsu. Trevor had this old video. I remember seeing the commercials like for pay-per-views. Dude, I remember seeing the VHS. Brutal. Yeah, yeah, I remember the VHS is being in the store. Everything and, was know. there were no rules, and there's this one where this dude just kept punching the guy in the balls, yep. like mm-hmm. repeatedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that was uh, that was Joe Son or Joe Sando, I think. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Something. Just yeah. well, punch them. I mean, so this is late '80s, like you know. Uh, films like the Kung Fu films were coming out in the late 70s. Yeah. You know, and then it, we, we had been so separated from these other cultures due to the war, due to all the conflicts and everything that happened, and also, you know, technology changing and all that, all that junk. But yeah. this is like the beginning stages of it being like an attractive thing. Right. You know, it's this is this is 10 years after we got first exposed to like martial arts. So well, I mean, well, they and still this, had those, right? And this I mean, match, like before UFC, there, there was, it was called something else, right? It was, uh, I mean, it's, it's in well, there, there but, have been kind of yeah. tournaments always, but like the first mixing of all the different disciplines has probably happened a lot before. Yeah. I'd like to point this out though, because this is the first match yeah, of the movie. We're so getting we're finally time. getting to the first match, and this is kind of. It this makes a lot of sense. The... It makes a lot of sense for it to be the first match because so that this is obviously a uh, kung fu fighter and the red sash, and that was a Muay Thai guy, and it's very fitting that he would win, because one is clearly effective as a fighting style and one is ineffective as a fighting style. One's basically fake and stupid, and he and he and he lost. Right. Yeah. And it's kind of like the turning point where the the martial arts that we're digesting. And we're filtering out like all the well, the, the these yeah, the, bull, the bullshit. Well, these you know arts I mean? were flashy, you know. The, the um, re- initial martial arts, like they were flashy, they were like attractive because they were so interesting yeah. to watch. And it did, it took a long time for it, to, you know, for us to filter that out with right. reality. I yeah. wonder if all but these like, guys are fighters, if they kind of like told the screenwriters or whatever, the director, like, you know, that wouldn't happen. This this style would win, so, or whatever. Maybe. I mean, it's just something I never thought of that. I just did when looking at that first match. I really oh, shit. It. Ogre dies, right? I don't know. And why, then he goes and avenges Why are you trying to, why are you trying yeah, to spoil shit? All right, son. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Never shit. mind. He just smashes people in the face. That's what Ogre does. America. I'll kill you, man. Yeah, you, man. He just, <laughs> he just threatened to murder a guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why did you point him? See, like, he doesn't even want to be an asshole. He's just like, what? what? You, well. You're going to kill me? Those crazy eyes, though. <laughs> God, it's great that he's in this movie. You gotta blot that shit, man. You You're spreading out. around. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, blot that I, shit. I, I, I forgot that <laughs> UFC that was shit. like such a like an an old school but, thing, uh, like early started, yeah. 90s situation. Because well, yeah. I remember going yeah. to the video store mm-hmm. and running VHS that? tapes like of Ken Shamrock. It would like, be they were put by, they were put near the, like the faces like, of death. Bad. They were, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They were considered, they well, were, were like super violent. They, they were, were like rough. UFC yeah. 1. They were pretty violent. UFC 1 through, I think, 12 uh, were tournaments. They weren't matches. Right. They were brackets. So the whole night you get a tournament. Well, so it's it's they were like little kumites. And they really were. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was different. There wasn't even in the first couple. Like there wasn't even, wearing there wasn't even uh, weight weight divisions. Nope. No, it, was, it didn't it was even open, matter. It was open weight. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's well, open weight. That's rough. Video, there's no a video no gloves. Of, uh, was it Hoist, Hoist Gracie? Uh-oh. He's fighting this We're big guy. He's titties. holding him by his ponytail the entire yep. time. Yeah. Watch his titties. Watch his titties. Hey, look at those titties. 
He's gonna jiggle. This guy's obviously a, I've never seen a chest that big, I don't think. No, he's got like the biggest, hey, the biggest packs. He's massive. There it is. Yeah. Blip, blip, blip. That's his thing. It hypnotizes you and then you And die. he's not even that big in this movie. If you watch like Chinese Hercules, man, he is. I mean, John claude Van Damme's not a big huge. guy. He's like 5'10". Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, but he's, small, like, he's but like in he's super shape. But he's like ripped. Yeah, he's, he's like 190, dude. He's pretty big. See, look, he's not even an asshole. He just, he just broke the guy's he, neck. No, he, he choked him out, I think. No, there was crackling. Oh. Like his neck cracked. Or I think oh, he's I waiting. He, he's going to finish oh, him now. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. Boom. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was the fatality. It didn't show him killing yeah, him. Yeah, this is very just, Mortal Kombat-ish. Yeah. Well, no, that was the suggestion that him cracking his neck was like the suggestion that he probably killed the guy. Oh, so you mix, you mix blood sport, uh, and you mix Big Trouble in Little China, and you get Mortal uh, Kombat. <laughs> Hell yeah. Big Trouble in Little China. There was no Kurt, Kurt Russell's in Mortal Uh-oh. Kombat. Uh-oh. Here's Frankie's first match. Maybe there should have been. Got that contouring. He's on point. He must have watched some YouTube tutorials. Now I show you something. <laughs> so, why is he out of focus? Because he's fucking balling, Oh, this is dude. the guy from the bar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to go, too. He's actually... He's not only a fighter, he's like a successful rapper in Iran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The arm. Oh. Oh. Knife hand. Nice and clean. What? <laughs> force. Yeah, what force, was that? Force work that was magic? That was him being intimidated. He's like, ah, I'll pretend to be dead. Who so does that referee fighting. look like? He looks like some character actor. That's racist, dude. Oh, Just because like, he's bald? Looks, he looks like Yul like Brynner. He's bald. He looks like Kevin Spacey. Okay, so is, isn't isn't the thing because it's been so long since I've seen this movie? Isn't the thing like he doesn't want to have to kill anybody? Is that it? Well, he's the protagonist, so of course he doesn't. He want doesn't to want to kill I think anyone. He's trying to figure out. Who, that's kind of the thing. I think thing. he's trying to figure out who killed the the dude he's coming there for, and then he w his, probably wants to kill him. His right. his childhood training right. partner buddy. Right. <laughs> Knocked the gold tooth out. That's yeah. perfect. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I used so I watched I used to watch this in college with my roommate Noodles. Shout out to my old roommate Noodles. And we used to crack the fuck up watching this scene right here. We would go places and bite shit and pretend to be this guy. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks it's a little ironic? In college you had a roommate named Noodles and like now He was Asian too, so yeah. But I mean a lot of your life is based on some form of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we work around that. Like, we find, I, thought, I, I, nights, I thought you said that we wouldn't dive deep tonight. In these movie nights, we, fa we find a lot of connections. <laughs> he thinks he, he wanted a, a Malamute because of the thing. So yeah. Look at that dude's fighting style. No, yeah, yeah. Well, there was like a new like food bicycle he was working on. Yeah, what the on fuck is this, noodles. Eric? Like, you're the expert. Like, Dude, what? yeah. What is that? Yeah, is what that is something? this guy doing? Is, it, is that... Uh, uh, I, I think they... What's that, that fight dancing? No, that's, it's not Capoeira. I think <laughs> with... In the beginning, that montage in the beginning, this dude was like running through trees in fucking Africa. So I would yeah. just call that monkey style. I would call it racist style, honestly. I'd racist call it style, go, yeah. <laughs> it's a gopher style. Y'all remember how fucking yeah, pumped this music would get y'all? If I do survive! Yeah. White line. Is that Edward Norton? <laughs> that guy has the same tattoo on his arm as the other guy did on his chest. They're just trying to save money. <laughs> they just had like one template. Yeah. Also, another thing with these old 80s movies, they, they always had like some sort of band or it's, musician that would like create like original yeah. songs with lyrics that <laughs> were only <laughs> in that one movie. Is this the uh, is this the second uh, montage we got? Dude, this this is like, we're already like four deep. We're like four deep. Yeah, we're about to probably enter like I would guess this is like the end what of kind the of second act. Fighting kimono was that? It was like baby blue. So I much mean, silk in this movie. That's this is half the movie. Uh, the movie's budget is these this silk costumes. Why does everybody keep being mean to the ref though? You know, like uh, they keep like throwing them out of the way. Flexing up. Yeah, titties. Fuck, that looks good. Noodles, shout out to Noodles. Again. Forrest Whitaker is the most overdressed character in this whole entire movie. And I feel like he only had one, they're, they're federal one outfit. Look, check it out. I mean, they're still being racist because like Forrest Whitaker can't use his chopsticks. 
the comedic relief. What are they supposed to be like FBI agents or something? No, they're like uh, for the, the government. They're or they're military police. Okay, is what they are. Uh, I found some information for you. Because the thing is, so they, Frank he, Frank Dukes like he yeah. he they he found out on, he was going there on leave. He went on shore no. leave, so he's not technically a wall. But oh, right. they knew yeah, that he's that's, this is what he was doing. They knew he was going to Kumite, so they're trying to find him. Because they said, "quote The military has sunk a lot of money in you, Frank." But I Dukes. thought he was like a little kid we can't lose when that dude asset. like uh, took him in. The trainer guy. This is th- that dude wasn't the government. He was in the army or whatever it was. Taking you back. You didn't watch the opening scene. <laughs> I did. He was like a little or kid. He was in the showers. He couldn't be a soldier if he's little... scumbags. Just stay out of whatever. the palace. Not your business. That's just a couple of plot holes. I just want to bring out. Dick you know. face. <laughs> Look, Frank. Whitaker with that, like, damn near Government invisible mustache. I mean, look, he has that trimmed down all the way Second, to the top of his lip. It's almost a shadow. Yeah. I just want to go up to him and say, is that your little brother? He's a good-looking kid. You guys don't like, know you guys anything. are going to take in a guy who's <laughs> fighting in an in a international tournament. Yeah, like, Forrest Whitaker's trying to act all tough. Like, like y'all are going to take this guy down. I'll be in the airport in two days. It's not good enough. Frank, read my lips. <laughs> We are taking you back now. Now. <laughs> These things look like network switchers. Right? <laughs> it's like you'd plug in like an hey, antenna controller. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. I think that skull ring in his Get back pocket. Oh, my He's God. He's tasing me, bro. He had a skull yeah, ring in the did. back pocket. He fucking did. I'm going to get some more drinky. I got to go to uh, the little girl's room. No, go ahead. We're going ahead, brother. If you don't mind. That's why we have so many people here, so we can keep up. So this is the uh, the... The goofiest part of the movie. This is uh, montage number five, apparently. Mon- montage, yeah. At what least three. What word did you use? I think we're at three. This was used on a Mentos parody commercial, and it's hilarious. Well, it sounds like the Mentos music. <laughs> it's like he gives him so many opportunities to catch him. Like, I get he's playing with him, but it's just. Uh, definitely, whenever you release this episode, you should put in like the description the Mentos commercial that was made out of this clip it's was freaking it really? hilarious wait they did a mint like seriously no it, it was a fan made thing but uh, it, it looks so legitimate and it looks so real as if it is a real Mentos commercial and it's awesome <laughs> it's just it's like it's almost like all these movies that we've done have been from this time period right and that's what I was going to say earlier I mean you said this is 88 yeah I was, I, on, I was we, only on once before and that was what 80 yeah, that was eighty-eight. We don't have any dates that we set. We just we picked the, we we just whenever we did the last one, we just called out a bunch of titles, right? We have some right. written down, but they all seem to be within the same range. And and to be fair, this is the audience pick, so yeah. this wasn't even us picking this. But it's it, one of the things that's, that's weird about it. Even is, though I love it, ding. Um, one of the things that's weird about it is it's like it's like this is like the transition whenever movies were still kind of slapstick, very very like like exaggerated kind of comedic elements within like action movies. It's almost like Sastry was writing movies at this time. Right, totally. <laughs> Talking about slapstick. The director's calling back, hey, uh, yeah, uh, I want you to spit out a bunch of water like you're in a cartoon. Sounds <laughs> wild. <laughs> You have to see it to believe it. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's hey, going on? Hey, I had a really good pee. You uh, checking your phone over there? Uh, yeah, I had uh, a text, you know, it's business. You getting a text from a, from a lady or something? No, uh, it's actually Tim, who couldn't be here tonight. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, no. Oh. You're telling me uh, never break rules? I'm just rubbing it in that I'm taking his spot. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, technically, Chris is taking his spot, and you're taking Chris's spot. Why? There's too many Chris's oh, spots happening yeah. right now. I'm confused. That's why I say Sastry and I say Chris. Okay. Yeah. To differentiate yeah. between the two of you. I never know anymore. There's too many of us. There's way too many of you guys. So, candlelight dinner, <laughs> gazing into each other's eyes. He got that because he, he won the coin toss <laughs> by cheating and <laughs> replacing it with another coin. It was, a, it was a grab this out of my hand. Monkey steals a peach <laughs> is what it was. Why do you guys think that Jean-Claude Van Damme wears all that makeup? I bet he has, like, terrible acne scarring. It could just be, like, the simple case of just, like, vanity. Just, well, like, I mean, a it, person who's just, like, I don't it, look good enough. I need to... But it clearly is, like, contouring. It's clearly, like... It's insane. Yeah. 
He looks great. I think he does. He must have a lot of acne scars. He looks pretty good, too. Oh! Oh, the butt shot. The butt shot. Zach, you missed it. You missed his butt. (laughs) (laughs) That's some high-waisted panties he's got on, too. Didn't he have, like, a butt shot, like, damn near in every movie? Except for Street Fighter, because kids went and saw that one. Those are jockeys. My dad, like, still wears that shit, and he he just walks around the house in (laughs) fucking tight jockeys. More power to him. I mean, <laughs> that's going to be you in a few years. Actually. Nah. Does your Does your dad look like Jean Claude Van Damme? Uh, no. If then I maybe, look like maybe Jean Claude Van Damme. Knock I would... it off. My dad has like this extra ball. It's weird that it hangs out the jockeys. So it's, he has a third testicle. It's like a little growth or something. Oh, yeah, growth, I don't know. Yeah. We can not talk about it and get back to the movie. All right, cool. <laughs> Sounds great. I love my dad and his extra ball. What, Sounds is, he gonna, great. is he going to be listening? <laughs> yeah, he's going to listen to this. I can, well, I just you know. Look at this journalistic woman. She's like, okay, I just had sex with you, so can you get me into the kumite, please? He's like, listen, I still cannot help you. I don't know. He's he's very robotic. He's got, like, this Fabio thing going on where he's there's just kind of nothing actor. there. But Do you think, I mean, okay, so to get a body like John claude Van Damme at this time, like, you had to kind of, you, you had to, you, you, there's a give and take, right? You can't also sure. be a great actor, you know? No, yeah. absolutely. Well, well, that's what he did first. Him. He was like a, a real fighter. Well, Jean Claude has a very attainable body. Look, I had a really? body exactly like that at one point, but I didn't aspire acting. <laughs> but I know if I had, I would have been the actual perfect mixture exactly, of those two yeah. things. Exactly like Your that. whole okay. problem was that uh, like these kind of movies went out of style, and so yeah. nobody would hire you, plus you went bald. <sighs> Jason Statham's is bald and he's hot as wow, fuck dog. Oh, yeah, absolutely and they had Jason Statham already they're like why don't we do another bald guy we can't get another bald guy in the movies <laughs> it, it's a, it wreaks havoc on the camera the reflections <laughs> that's a pretty common role of this, this cat <laughs> oh, uh, the, the kind of <laughs> their guide or whatever yeah <clears throat> he's always kind of slapstick in a way well he kind of looks he's like super mousy you know what I mean? Like he weighs Nerdy. like 110 pounds. Got got grandpa that, swag that glasses fast on. Fast talking. Yeah. Like little. His whole body looks like uh, one of oh, Ogre's yeah. legs. There you go. I'm trying That's to f- I'm trying to figure out like movie. I'm trying to figure out the meaning behind his character. The big guy is. I mean, he's like a representation of like macho America. Yeah, but right, he right. is. He's supposed but to be your every man. I can't I guess. tell. Like, I can't tell if it's like. If it's like satire or if it's meant to be taken seriously, it is. I, I mean, I, I don't think it's satire. I think here. it's meant to be genuine. I, don't know. Yeah, ob- me I mean, too. it's obvious he has him, the Harley Davidson shirts. Like he's a big guy. He looks like a wrestler. Like I, he's his buddy and he, and from he, the army. And he or doesn't. Something, and he's right? just like scrappy. He doesn't have a fighting style. He yeah. just goes in there and smashes. I like, think he's. I think he's like a Hulk Hogan archetype stand in. But like looking he's back on it, it's, it Americans, looks like satire. Yeah. Back then, it was probably perhaps relatable. I mean, it looks that's like probably, satire. That's probably why he was in there. Yeah, yeah. So somebody they could relate to. He's somebody. bringing emotional kind of weight to this film, but I don't want a spoiler alert. You know? I'm not trying to give yeah. these people any credit to whoever made this because it's, it's still a terrible movie. But... That's how. Oh I wait, they they made this. They made the fighting ring smaller. That's nice. yeah, yeah. This guy has a Lewis Kang thing going on. <laughs> hey, which which one? Lewis Kang. Yeah. It looks like a young Michael Mason. It does look like Michael the- Mason. Who? Oh, it's yeah, like Liu Kang, Mortal guy? Kombat 1. Oh, guy right, there. Right, I got not, you. It's definitely not the white guy that looks like an ugly version of Braun from Game of Thrones. <laughs> 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 an ugly version of Braun. Braun is beautiful. He's very handsome. Wait, which one is Braun? Dude, Braun's everybody the, gets Braun those Jamie Lannister's like, uh, number one right hand man. Yeah, for but the first he's, not, few seasons. he's not. He's not a handsome person. He's just he just wanted to say that Braun is beautiful. <laughs> very distinguished and handsome. Showing off the Muay Thai clinch, but. Definitely not how it's supposed to be. Well, they're trying to be safe, you know. You can't get into it. A lot of these movies have that thing where, like, the guys, the guy that he's beating on, like, reacts completely, like, wrong. Like, in the beginning, right. the first fight that Jean-Claude Van Damme did, he, like, grabbed the guy's hand and the guy goes, ugh. Well, they probably <laughs> you know, like, completely. If you mentioned like, these are just, all, like, like real fighters. Like, I can't a believe that happened. Reaction. Like, yeah. These guys probably have a lot this, of trouble faking this. it, you know. Like, uh, actually, actually, Jean Claude's probably just back. kicking the shit out of people. He really is like, I want to make it look good. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, the speed there's of no his stuff. I'm pretty sure some of these guys are, are actual fighters. Yeah. You know, that, I, you'd maybe. have to look it up, but they probably. I thought you said they were. I looked. Oh, I tried yeah, to look. Yeah. I, I could probably dig deeper, but nobody's credited. Some of them. I mean, 
they look the part at least. You know, they all they're all big and strong looking. I mean, it probably wouldn't be that hard to get them. You know, hey, you want to be in a movie? Right. You know? Yeah, I would say in this day and age, it would all be them. way easier to get a, a mediocre fighter than to train these people to dance. These kick like, bo- these kickboxers and like Muay Thai guys seem to be in here more than the than the uh, more well, traditional. But they, they also they also at this time they knew that they just needed somebody to look the part. They didn't they didn't have to they didn't have to worry about specific styles. Right. You know? They might have oh, just, no, gone, shit, they might just gone to a school and said, hey, let, let me have all your guys. so sexy. Oh, oh, oh shit. damn. Oh. Fucking bone pass. He stomped on his knee, dog. This shit is real, okay? This shit is real. That was half the makeup budget right there. At any point, like I'm just put waiting like a, for like a pork rib on his some leg. pyro <laughs> to explode, and I'm a real American to play, and Hulk Hogan <laughs> marches in and tears this guy a new one. Yeah. Like, a like, look at this. Like, <laughs> nobody saw you talking to your fucking recorder. Be discreet. Remember, be discreet. Like, you're sitting in the front row, and there's 200, 300, 400 people there, and you just talking to a little recorder like it's discreet. Slap, slap, slap him. Do the slap. Oh. That's a pretty cool kick, I gotta say. He's got so much control. He has a really weird footwork, though. I don't... He's supposed to be uh, karate... Uh, Ninjutsu. Uh, Ninjutsu? He trained, he trained oh. in ninjutsu is what it said. Is that what he's... Oh. Are ninjas real? Yeah. Well, eh. yeah. They didn't look like... Well, not, not anymore. They, they looked like uh, a street urchin. They, they didn't looked look, like they didn't peasant have farmers like, and they didn't shit. Have like, yeah. They looked like an urchin? Well, they blended in with the population. They weren't dressed <laughs> in black. And maybe at points. And, uh... History spoiler, they were actually the good guys and samurais were the bad guys. Yeah, weren't they? I mean, they kind of worked for the government. So yeah, like no, the CIA. Ninjas so no, ninjas didn't work for okay. the government. Ninjas yeah. were like the, re- the rebellion. Samurais did. They were like just regular people, pretty much. Yeah. Samurais were like goons. Paid Wait, goons. but you said ninjas were the good guys? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they were like farmers. Were, they were really like guerrilla were, fighters. They were farmers. Yeah. 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 All right. And samurais were, uh, they were like the aristocratic sort of class. Yeah. They would literally just like fucking kill farmers sometimes, just for fun. Huh. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, yeah. But the uh, ninjas were like vigilantes. This guy looks for, like uh, the guy from the, the, the new Daft Punk. <laughs> Wait, what? The Daft Punk, uh, the most recent music video they put out, there's this guy that looks like him singing on it. Oh, uh, he looks like, that must be the, uh, <laughs> the one they clapped. He looks like Grace whatever. Jones's brother. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a great jump. Off. <laughs> yeah, I remember Grace Jones. Now he's fighting the bear. Yeah. Oh yeah, monkey man and a giant. And the sumo. A uh, little sidebar, you know, on samurais and all that What's other stuff. Up, Thirteen assassins. Yeah. That's oh a yeah. One. That's that a great a movie. One. I personally like the Thirteenth Warrior with Antonio Banderas. I mean, do, do y'all want to try to use this one to pick the next uh, movie? I would like to do like a, like a. I want to do a kung fu or some kind of fighting movie that's actually like, you know. No, this is this is great. Oh, I mean, I, best of the best, dude. The best of the best. You know, uh, did you know that you said 13th War? You know that was one of the biggest flops of all time? Really? Yeah, I know. That movie sucks. It's it was a great the, movie. It was in the top ten flops. Uh, it didn't It didn't, It didn't. didn't find its... Well, no, you had to read their, their subtitles. I'm, I mean, it just it didn't find its its audience. And 13th War. I thought it was awesome. No. It was yeah. a... Like, it flopped so... I thought it was yeah. a great movie. I mean, what do y'all think? Do y'all like it? I love that I movie. I never watched I the whole thing. I liked it. I love it. Yeah. It really? I mean, it's really? a rehash. It's, it's Seven Samurai. Which is a classic. No, I mean, that's not like really. every it's, movie, dude. Kind of. It's based on <clears throat> that guy. So Antonio Banderas' character, who's actually a Islamic Middle Eastern man played by Antonio Banderas, but he was a real guy. Wait, no, uh, no, no, no. I'm yeah, thinking he was different. a guy who was able to, like, You're learn thinking their of 13th language. Warrior. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, what he, he was talking about. about. Oh, I thought you said, uh, I thought you said, uh, He said 13th Assassins. I said 13th Assassins. Assassins. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So I, I got jumped to 13th Warrior. Yeah, 13th Warrior was horrible, actually. That was a terrible movie. I wasn't a terrible movie. It wasn't terrible. It was good. It was, a, it was based on a book, right? We review it's, it's kickbox it's, no, it's based with on, all them sweaty men. And I give it two snaps. I mean, not really based on a book, based on writings of a person. Right. Yeah. So another liar. Obviously, because Antonio Banderas is not, like, Middle Eastern. That's it. Obviously not. They could have got somebody. Well, Last Samurai. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to go there, samurai. but... No, but in the there's movie, a, there's a Paul Mooney joke about that. Last, <laughs> the last samurai was actually not racist to me at all. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't American. Well, they set it up right. I did uh, that movie because was... he wasn't the protagonist. He was, he was literally just like uh, the narrator of the film. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the close-ups of Jean-Claude Damme's uh, faces in this <sighs> movie. <laughs> what you gonna do, bro? He's gonna shit his pants, dude. <laughs> Monkey steals Whoa. the beach. Oh, oh, he just that's that's where Johnny Cage Johnny got his move Cage. from. Shot, Thank you man. very much. Johnny the Cage is, split is no like punch. designed directly after Jean Claude. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, except for <laughs> being very white, out of shape, and being a Hollywood actor. Dude. But the split move definitely. Uh, right. Look at that ass. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Ever they don't tell you anything about the rules. I mean, if that's legal, then why didn't everybody just like go for the balls every time? I'm sure. I mean, it's like UFC. <laughs> dude, yeah, here. in the old days, like I said, that dude these pe- won these people by have honor, fucking man. like twenty times hitting them in the balls. I'm just gonna kick people in the nuts. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Nut jitsu is what I know. That's my jam. Slapping people is like the most effective <laughs> fighting style, you know. <laughs> See, so, so he's talking about the Chung Lee. He's, he has a weak gut. Chung Lee. Not Chung Lee. And I've, I've noticed watching this again and, and remembering that, that yeah. like most of like the takeouts that John claude Van Damme has done has been gut punches. Like he, oh, spe- yeah. like he yeah. specializes in, well, uh, in attacking the core. Here comes some titties again. It's really Do effective it. if you have a strong punch. A liver shot, a liver shot is very effective. It's not how hard you hit. It's how hard you could get hit and then still keep coming up and fighting back more. I don't like the look of this. This is Ogre versus our yeah. main villain. You see this how they set it up? can't be a good thing. The music stopped, right? And there's... Oh, wait. So, wait. This is how... Oh, there's no way this could turn out bad. Yeah. No way at all. This I tried where... to bring this up in one of the other podcasts, okay? And and nobody understood what I was saying, but I, there's always these moments in any movie, really, yeah. where there's it stuff gets like personal. this. Well, it's stuff yeah. like this where it's like this is the showdown. This is like this is like the next it takes it to the next level for like yeah. the, oh. the plot you know? yeah 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 like now he's doubly wanting to kick this guy's ass that's why he's in the it's a plot what, point but I've always thought that like what if they just finished the movie there like he actually kicks his ass and yeah. the movie basically ends that's like his best friend he's like stop stop <laughs> he's trying to stop the fight he fucking kills him Stops Ogre is dead head. look at that guy actually I don't, Jesus. Th- I don't think he's dead no he's no, dead no he doesn't that's die. what I'm saying I don't think he actually I don't think the bad guy in this movie actually kills anybody I, dude, that, that's the only thing I can take from the neck crack that he did on the first guy he fought. But that guy was moving around. Like, when he was there, he was, like, wobbling, like like a finish him wobble. He no was, way. He's dead. If they put the neck crack in there, then dead, that bro. means they're that kill he's him. paralyzed or something. I mean, he's breaking bones and shit. There, there were rules in uh, in the, the in the MPAA or whatever it is. That, uh, what is it? FCC. There were rules where... Like South Park did it a lot. You can't show a dead body or somebody dead after you killed them, but you have to make them twitch a little bit. Huh. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Like you mm. couldn't, you couldn't just make it that. I heard, uh, like in Rocky Four, when Carl Weathers dies, you know Apollo, uh, that he just threw in, he improvises a twitch. Nobody told him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Dude. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, okay. You're right. He's not. I told you he's not dead. Well, that's, I mean... He's just on. fucked up. Right? Well, that doesn't require vengeance, does it? Doctor He's still there. The he signed up to get his ass beat. Yeah. Well, no, he just oh, doubled down. Yeah. Yeah. Head like a rock. Yeah. He just knows, this man is a force, so I have to stop. So did they stop do all this tits. fighting during the day? Because it's like, they're both wearing the same shit. Do you think that's what he wants? Someone like, the, this Kumite him? battle is happening at, like, 10 in the morning, you know? Yeah. Everybody's having a little breakfast buffet, and then they go and... You don't want to You don't want to fight on a full stomach, dog. They skip breakfast. I can't eat it on an empty stomach. It's weird. <laughs> why, is all, why is everything you say fucking funny? I don't understand. Well, I stole that. I owe that to uh, fucking Ernest. That's from Ernest Goes to Camp. Oh, yeah. We did so we, That's on our list. Uh, An Ernest movie. Ernest Scared Straight, I think. Scared Stupid? I never scared saw stupid, Scared yeah. Stupid. Scared Stupid is on our list. Like I mean, I mean, we're going to... We have kind of a rough plan to October. We're going to try to put out like two a week and just hit hit it real hard. Like Chris's specialty, uh, Chris Corville's specialty is is Halloween. So we're, we're going to do at least one of those. Yeah, here we go. Damn right. It's my specialty. Uh, you, can, can I ask? I mean, are you guys afraid you're... Kind of turn it into a movie yeah. podcast? No, or like it's ex- not really. No, you're doing no, a lot of them. So. No, I mean it's it's easy. Uh, we don't. I know. There's not much to edit. It's fun. 
Um, it's it's a supplemental thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I Keeps us going. You, know. yeah. you guys must really enjoy podcasting. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it, it really is a lot of fun. I mean, I was telling Aaron, it's some, doing this is almost more fun than doing it. Like, I like doing the interviews, you know. Uh, what I would like to see is I want to kind of see this – thing become its own thing yeah but alone. i'm trying to i'm trying to find somebody who can take it over it, it would me. have to find it it's got to find its own legs you know kind of thing you guys like, want to do like a network of podcasts that'd be great uh, i don't know yeah you should i mean yeah i, I mean I yes but that. not but, without like we're not saying that's what we're gonna do but like i like doing this this is a, this is a fun thing but i don't want to distract us i don't want to right right i really like the work we're doing with the regular one well tim you know i know expressed a long time ago uh Frank. Like before y'all started doing it, and after we stopped, uh, he's like, "I would like to do." He just woke up one day and texted me, "I want to do a movie podcast." Yeah, me and, and him talked about it. And I, he and I, we he and I talked about it for, about a, for a long right. time too. You know, that's just the thing, man. The, the the biggest thing is 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 I want that to happen. We're kind of trying to give it to Tim in a way. But yeah, my whole know. thing is like, yeah. yeah my only problem is like you don't know how to work the equipment. And well, this, I don't want to fucking oh, edit. What, well, what I want to do. By the way, this is montage like number seven. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, awesome. the the big thing is, is like, I'll I'll take care of everything. You just gotta make it happen, and it's this is a, this is a call out to Tim. It's like if he wants to make it happen, then make it happen. If people want to hear, <laughs> well, that, it, that is too yeah. long of a shot on that random old man <laughs> in the bus. <laughs> what in, were you thinking? Inaudible dialogue. But one thing, <laughs> one thing I'll say about this whole movie night thing is the fact that you guys are here. It kind of. It breaks the ice of us completely going off the rails. Like, because if Tim was to do a podcast and I was on it, who knows if it would even be enjoyable to listen to because we would not stop talking. Yeah. About being yeah. And it's nice to have, like, a little, like, you know, just well, you, somebody you else learn. to kind of, well, like, well, bring you, in the middle. You focus. Well, whatever. you're practicing, too. So Tim's, yeah. done, Tim's done a number of the... God damn, look at this. It's, this, the is, man, this is split like, number seven. Where the fuck did this come from? The man is doing splits like, where did this on a come thousand from? foot tall building yeah, in Hong Kong. That's actually fucking because awesome, they can't fake that back then. So no, that's a helicopter. No, he did shot it, but like in but, yeah. real, like in the context no, of this a, movie, how did he go shot. from the Kumite in the slum to right, like now he's yeah. now he's he on top there? of a traditional style? Yeah, it looks like a really nice hotel or something. Like it's the only like old looking thing in, that you can see. That's, yes, the bay. It's actually a really beautiful shot. And it's really yeah, weird to think. This. It's, it's really great. weird to think that a hundred years before this film is being taken place, there was epic battles in that bay of for the opium wars between Britain and yeah, China. it was uh, the Bay of Pigs, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was in China. Yes, that was in China, bro. <laughs> You're right. Down that alley, because you know that China they like pork, so Bay no, of but- Pigs, you know. That's where they got their name. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so they do racist, like that's where they got the name. But, oh, you know what? This is, that's like his costume from Hard Target. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the first denim, denim we've seen. Is it possible that I think it's a all these snap. movies are intertwined? Like, Maybe. It's the same dude. Or what's that, what's that Jean-Claude Van Damme movie where he's in prison? What's that one? Oh. You know what I'm talking about? He's, he's like a, a newer one? No, it's it's early 90s. He's in prison, but that's pretty much his costume. The entire thing is a jean shirt. Can't, prison, I can't. huh? Oh, man. Russian prison movie. I know what you're talking about. I don't think it's Russian, is it? In Hell. I remember Double watching that. Hell. That was a pretty That's decent it, movie. In Hell, yes. Yeah, in Hell. Yeah, in 2003? Hell? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, 2003. He's not oh, Russian, oh, okay. but he gets yeah, locked up. All right, I guess. Yeah. He like, he like, it's kind of like the gringo, but not comedy. It's more mm. fighting. He almost does like a Batman Begins thing where like he, he not just gets locked me. up. And... I didn't know the guy was still making movies in 2003. Dude, he's still making yeah, movies now. Well, yeah. so now it's all the Expendables or whatever. Now they're like, now. You, did you see on JP's, Expendables yeah. was badass? Like he him. did the fucking yeah. roundhouse to to. It, to well, he was actually bad. He was the bad guy in the Expendables, yeah. and it was badass. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, those movies are you know, it's a throwback oh. to all these fucking movies. But uh, the second one. Is so that favorite. totally wouldn't work because. So it's like a taser. It just, it's not. <laughs> it's a fucking, like, USB plug from the 80s. <laughs> it's like a split telephone. Uh, yeah, so one goes to the computer and one goes to the, to the 
the house still. Poor Forrest Whitaker. He's like, man, I'm still in this brown suit. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> please get me another outfit. I'm just burning up in here. It's hot <laughs> as fuck. Follow me. <laughs> man. Dude's been in the brown suit the entire film. He's not had one. So that's the, that's why they gave all. up. That's why they said, "No, we're just gonna." We well, just he happen. just fucked up, like a, he just fucked up Hong Kong police. He took their ta- took their tasers away. With his beard, like, uses Texas Beard Company products. I I don't. That is a good question, Chris Astry. <laughs> I'm trying to get. <laughs> this Japanese man has a very good beard, and I think that he would. Highly definitely benefit. benefit from definitely benefit the from natural, Texas Beard Co. The natural product. What 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 uh, which one do you think you'd like the best? I really like Nightcap. Nightcap? I think that's my favorite too. And that's Texas Beard Company, uh, located on the internet. I'm more <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more of a big thicket. Clothes Shit. Hey, we, we are all oiled up now. We knew we were going to watch a movie oh, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, we got oiled up. Oh, you got oh, some? I, oiled up, I said baby. oil up. Word. I, I said got the oil big up, thicket boys. on right now. I'm not even playing around. Word. Let's oil our beards up like, you know, J- JCVD gets oiled up before yeah. every shot. So his muscles glisten. Paco? I wonder where he's from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bolo Yang's character is wearing a... Uh, Karate Kid fucking thing, dude. Yeah. No, that's that's a uh, his headband is uh, Korean, so I guess it's implying that he knows Taekwondo <laughs> or Kim Jong Il. I guess was it Il or Un back then? There's two different people. I know, but back it's then. Father and son. Oh, it's Il. Yeah. Come on, touch him. Touch him. Oh, you bad, bro. Bad form. Bad form. Uh, buff Michael Mason. <laughs> that doesn't look like him. Actually. It does. No. It does kind of. I think uh, like a Corville's got the better. Uh, uh, what the Braun thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Braun. He, do- he definitely looks like. Braun. <laughs> he kind of looks like Braun. Yeah, maybe it's that dude, and he just hadn't seen him in anything until Game of Thrones, and he got shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so oiled up. He's so greasy. He's a lot more oiled up than the other guy. Oh yeah. He needs to shine like a bronze god. Paco! I don't know if he would just perform a sonic boom or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel like this would be over. I think like, that happens me. at the end. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Get it, boy. He's got him in the armpit. That hurts. Oh, yeah, that, that would dead your whole arm. <laughs> ripped. Absolutely ripped. You know, Forrest Whitaker was like, you believe this guy? I just really hope he can just take the blazer off at some point. Just take the tie down, unbutton like a couple of buttons. Just breathe a little bit. He can't, dude. He can't He's do it. He's at work. Bloodsport, brought to you by Tranaball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just, he just flexes his titties at the titty flexing mm-hmm. guy. So what's he up, totally just flexed Wait, did he just flex him? Yeah, he just flexed flex him at the titty flexer. Yeah, at the titty flexer. That's tight. Oh, That's I feel tight. like that was probably the biggest form. Of now she's gonna flex her titties. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> so what's up, bitch? Flex your titties. Flex your titties. Man, she's just clapping. Zach, can you can you look up <laughs> can you look up on the internet if uh, Jean Claude Van Damme has bad acne scarring? I'm trying to figure out why he wears so much makeup. I I'm think he just really has thing. good skin. He was probably what like 24 or something. Yeah, he's probably at 23 or something. This movie. He's very young. Well, yeah, for like a fighter like that, I mean, and, he was like in real terms. I'm not finding anything right off him. I don't see any cauliflower or anything on his ear. Bully Yang was like 49 or 50. What? Here? Here? Yeah, he no was. He, yes, he is. No. I'm telling you. No, yeah, he was. Yeah, no, Chinese Hercules was like 1971, dude. Shit. This He's, guy's like 45 or 50? Yeah, he is oh, like almost 50. I mean, you heard like Trent Reznor did the score in this movie. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Not really. Sure. <laughs> no, this is uh, 88. It comes a fatality. There it is. Yeah. I can feel oh. It. oh shit! I'm pushing yeah. the button. I don't know. I'm pushing up, down. A8, back, back, A, back, back, A. Was I right, Zach? Oh so, shit! It was 42. 42. Jesus. There you go. 42 during this movie. I was a little movie. off, yeah. but I yeah. was a little off. Well, probably still. younger because they. They put it out in 88, but they probably shot it. He was around 40, probably, whenever they shot it. Yeah, he was in his early 20s in the 
and the, the kill the fucking 70s, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, he killed that guy. That's that's what he's doing. So that's his first death. Look, see how oh, he's yeah. looking he at totally him like that. Broke his neck, yeah. That was the first death. Huh. Now the, the stakes crack? have been raised. I mean, you can crack a neck, dude. My my elbow cracked like seven times the other day because it, but it's not. It didn't break. It just cracked a bunch. What did Something you do to your elbow, you. dude? Uh, you heard it jacking off. Randall had me in a crucifix armbar, and it fucking almost broke my arm. You know, Jesus Christ pose. Is that what that means? Kind of yeah, that's what it means. So you were like this, just. Yeah, it's like when both your arms are, are uh, pinned, kind of. Oh, I see, yeah. Silence befalls the crowd. Oh, yeah, they turned their back. That point. It's on you now. You are next. I don't think that was his voice. Uh. It kind of seemed like it was. You are next. <laughs> he didn't I sound that so. white. <laughs> he kind of did, dude. <laughs> What's really funny is Bolo Yang's like the best actor in this whole movie. He is pretty menacing. Yeah. He's, he's a lit, I'm being serious, he's like the best actor in the whole movie. I don't he know, was Forrest in, uh, Whitaker he was in is an Oscar winner, dude. Hmm? He was in Enter the Dragon. Uh, yeah. yeah. A yeah. lot of his stuff. Prepare the platform for the final... Junkin' Master. Mm-hmm. He was huge as fucking drunken master. Dude, I can throw on like old school, old school like Bruce Lee kung fu movies and just leave and play it all day. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like I'm one of those guys. There's only five Bruce Lee movies, so too soon. He's taken from us too soon. Oh, My no. favorite one is uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. He did a good job. <laughs> That's your favorite Bruce Lee movie? <laughs> <laughs> With the dude from the Jungle Book. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> Bruce Lee was, was really great. I in thought that. that was Jason Lee's kid, right? <laughs> Wasn't it Jason uh, Lee's kid? It was no. Jason Lee's kid? I think so. Brandon oh, Lee. Oh, I don't know. Jason Lee, the no, no, skateboarder? No, Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. That's right. <laughs> Brandon Lee was a pro. Cool. I was sitting here thinking, God. like, Earl? Like, Earl's kid? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I think it was Jennifer Jason Lee's kid. Maybe. Oh, no. Um, oh, yeah, here's that shit. That dude was, he was, like, in the Jungle Book or he something. Knows. He knows. He knows he's going to he's gonna hit you in the, in, the, in the torso. What was that? It was, like, a, a, a blinding powder thing. Like, it was a capsule, like a hand-pressed... Talcum capsule. Okay, I think. Oh, oh shit, shit, he's got fucking now it's ogres. Personal. Harley Davidson. Now it's personal. I think this is where we get the biggest tit jiggle <laughs> for intimidation. Oh, they changed the ring they again. They changed the ring, yeah. <laughs> this is the same type of ring from the beginning of the movie that he trained right on. Right here, right here. As a child. No, oh, no fuck. shit. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how he's familiar with it. So that guy, that old man was basically setting up his son and this kid to die. He knew yeah. what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He was hired by the IFAA. <laughs> he totally worked for the IFAA. Oh, I thought you said FAA. Changes <laughs> everything. The IFAA. That's uh, we're, we're International making... Foreign Affairs Administration. We're theory crafting here, you guys. Do it. Do Blood it. Sport do it. Theory. Do some do fan it. fiction. Yeah. Well, there's 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 look, look at these oh, guys. God dang. Oh, another titty. Yeah, another titty flakes. They're so oiled up right now. I'm doing it right now. Record. Now I break. Hey, you got man. That's pretty good. Fuck yeah, pretty double D's, either. dog. I can't. I can't do that. You, man, you. That's 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 Absolutely. impressive. You, know, you gotta you gotta stick with it. You know, a diet and uh, exercise. That's impressive. Kind of sounded like Stallone just did. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got Shouts in foreign uh, language uh, was the uh, subtitle. Um, uh, I'm kind of like a surfboard, really? mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Hey, that ain't cool, man. You jumped off the ref. That's totally illegal, bro. Zach, what do you do when, like, uh, have y'all had, like, a, a loud kind of mouth breather on the show? Where, like, constantly there's... That's what this pop yeah. filter's for. Yeah. What do you do? There? You cut them out? Like, yeah. That's, that's going to be cool. There's some tricks. Why not leave it in? That's funny. Nobody wants to listen to that. But it's just, like, life. Y'all, this... This is the climax fight. This isn't a documentary. Oh, this, is <laughs> this is the final battle. Yeah, those are very hard looking kicks, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Frank. You got this, Dukes. Put up your Dukes. Your Dukes, Dukes. Yeah, put up shit. your Dukes. <laughs> Just like the animal faces. 
Okay, so yeah, the the fighting ring has definitely changed yeah, yeah. from the beginning of the it's movie. I'm, I'm now noticing times, yeah. what y'all were talking it's about from earlier. changed three times. Yeah. Went from a giant well, like, square to a little fight, rectangle. Like, they don't talk about any rules. They just, they just kind of make it all up in your head, like Frank Dukes did. This is getting real. You can tell by the music. <laughs> The synth and the chimes, that's how you yeah, know it's all Trent Reznor, man. It's all Trent Reznor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody come ask you, just do a front flip over him. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking. Oh. <laughs> get him, boy. Kick. Oh, he's getting him now. See, so he's doing those body hits. Do it. Do it, Fuck. Ducks. Wow. Dukes. Oh, shit. He's got him phased. Dude, I haven't seen this since I was like. In middle school, and it's kind of it's kind of getting me a little psyched right now. Do you remember how yeah. jacked you would get? It's watching getting me those psyched yeah. seeing this whole These fight movies, right now. I'm get, yeah. I'm, it's like I'm falling back into the whole zone I used to be. I used oh to, shit! Man. Here comes a fucking cheater. I used to do this shit. Look at him. I used to watch this and beat up my little brother all the time. Slap <laughs> <laughs> a little kid. Oh, here he goes, oh, fucking no. blinds him with that shit. Or maybe that was just a bunch of blow. <laughs> well, well, if that was the case, he would probably be in trouble. Yeah, you don't want to give your enemy the, the upper hand, but <laughs> well, he does. So maybe it was. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna look at his I'm eyes. I'm blind, but I'm uh, fucking Jack. It's a. Uh, I think that's like a ninja tactic. You know, I think it's like pulver, uh, uh, like powdered glass. Yeah. You know, theatricality and deception. <laughs> so it goes back to the beginning of the movie for the most part, where he was training to be Call blind. Back. Correct. Yeah. He's having to overcome being blind yet again. Think of the T. Put your hands up, man. You might be blind, but you're still going to have your hands up. You're still going to be in guard. Yeah, Dukes. You're going to be even in more guard. You're going to be like this. You're going to have your hands up, covering your head. you be like, fuck, I don't know where the you punch notice, is going to come from. In every Rocky movie, even after the montages, like, he's supposed to, he should get better after every movie. <laughs> but, like, he never fucking puts his hands up. He just takes... Psh, psh, <laughs> it's it's very true, movie. though. That's true. Gets punched like 50 times. He's like times the worst the fucking fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not how, it's not about how hard you can hit. It's how, uh, you can get hit. It's about how and many it, hits you can take. <laughs> you keep getting up. All right, so this oh, is damn. definitely a half He's down. Now. He's down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See <laughs> It's, it's like Do he's it. playing in the water Do of the it. creek. Meditate. Get your shit together. <laughs> this is like almost total recall right here. Because <laughs> <laughs> the other guy's just waiting for him to like figure all this out, right? This is some overacting. You know, actually, uh, I, I read some show notes from this movie, and his <laughs> nose isn't bleeding from... Uh, from the fight is actually bleeding from the amount of cocaine that he yeah, gets. Okay. So. I believe it. Does <laughs> anybody have a tissue? Did you see how he just made that scream? And he's going for another one? Yeah, I remember that. He's like confused. It's like going full retard in a way. Yeah. 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 Full Apparently he's the only one that went full retard and succeeded. <laughs> Think find of the tea. Find your intercom. Yes. Bring it all back Think to the beginning. Think of catching that fish with your bare hand. Remember that dude that tortured you <laughs> when he was a little kid? <laughs> yes, focus. This ain't shit. Yes! Oh, turning point. Fuck yeah. That is so awesome, though. Like, fighting blind. It's a nice touch to the movie. Is that your favorite part, Chris? That's that ninja. Well, it's quite boy. a climax. He's like, you know, he's like a Jedi now, you know? <laughs> he's so good he knows that that was the ref, like. He even kind of like balanced on the ref. Oh, look at him, he's protecting him. I mean, the ref could get the fuck out of the way too, you know, that could happen. Who is that, is that Herb? <laughs> it's, all, it's all Herb Dean. It's all Herb Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Sastra, you're so silly. <laughs> I mean, come on, he goes. He... Apologies to the people at home. We're really into this scene right now. Yeah, yeah. Bolo Yang goes from like being a badass to just being inept. Okay, he just did like four jump roundhouses in a row. Yeah, yeah. looking He's the backing other way. Him up. 
like in a row. Whoa. You gotta do the splits when you jump That's too. It's like the 127th split. But that was airborne, which is pretty impressive. I mean, that had to be kind of real there. It looked real. I mean, how can you, can't you pull fake, that back? You can't fake a kick, like, a foot slapping into it. You yeah. weren't using CGI back then. I mean, these are, like, missing his face, but that was that really hit him, and it was, right. like, kind of shorter distance. You can't, like, pull that back. He's in the air. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. If you, if you guys noticed, like, the way this, this scene is shot, I think it kind of had a, a big role in like all the subsequent movies that follow, like Kickboxer, they're all shot the same way, like camera low. Yeah. The 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 stage lights up there. Sad. Say it. Say it. Got to twist his head on. Mate. 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 Is he from Argentina? WTF. I like Mate. Correct me if I'm wrong though. This what isn't is, the end of this fight. What right? is Argentine and Mate? You know, like the tea, you know, that looks like weed. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm not really into it, uh, but uh, that's, my entire family. It's matcha, so. matcha green tea. Mate, mate cocido, mate. Let's go poop. Mr. Dukes, you fought with <laughs> inspiration. We of the Kokoruka Another ding. salute you. He fucking did it, dude. He earned his sword. Look did at that. Man. Full circle. Mr. Tanaka told him, sword like this, you cannot steal. So wait, Tanaka have must have... Fought in the Kumite. He did. Mm. He did. So the Kumite is almost like uh, like pedophiles, you know, like like, like pizza know, game? Usually, <laughs> like in the Catholic Church, like they usually they were touched as kids, and they went on to do that to, to others. You know, it's kind of sure. the thing. Like he went through history this. repeating itself. Yeah, no, yeah. he went through this thing, and he had to, he recruited his son and <laughs> this guy. Ogre's Ogre's back. All right, Fred. So Ogre lives. So That's nice. Man, he's got bad teeth. You might have to go up against me. <laughs> Don't matter. He still fucks. He's ogre. Yeah. He drives a Harley, you dude. You guys are out of your mind. He's in. He's in. Uh, that. He's in the hospital drinking like Sing Ha or something. <laughs> drinking some Chang. Try to keep your. That was back when they smoked in hospitals. I'm sure. Yeah, I was in the hospital the I other day. I got your bandana back for you, sir. And, uh, man, I was there like the whole day. That's an embrace right there. You got to walk so far away now from the hospital to smoke. You know. And I just like, man, if this was like 30 years ago or maybe a little more than that, you, just fucking smoke right here. <laughs> Your doctor would be smoking while talking. God, yeah. that, that was a real powerful moment they just shared together. <laughs> they love each other, man. Bros, man. They're nerds forever. America. They, they love each other. <laughs> it's yeah. bromance. So <laughs> what does Jean-Claude do now? Does he go like get You'll a job see they're about, they're, they're about to tell you. No, he goes uh, he, he goes he's, he's, he goes back to America. A kickboxer. He goes back to he America. He fights for his country. And he opens up a very successful dojo in uh in uh the valley probably. And he, yeah. In San Francisco. And he trains There'll be no laughing in this dojo. He's <laughs> <laughs> <You son, bitch. laughs> Dude. I'm Rex Quarto. Yeah, who's the bad guy in uh, Karate Kid that owns the dojo. Really What's his name, Frank? It's the Cobra dude? Kai guy. Have y'all seen the new Cobra Kai thing that's coming out soon? Is that supposed to be a series? Yes, yeah. it's a web yeah. series. Okay. It's going to be like a YouTube thing. I think it's supposed to switch it around it and looks Daniel's dang. the bad guy. Dude, dude it looks Ralph dang. Macchio is back as Yeah, but he's like the Daniel's bad, he's the asshole. Of course he's, actually, he's the asshole, yeah. yeah. He was the asshole back then, too. He was just Johnny absolutely. Or whatever. No, uh, but they they brought back, like, the main Cobra Kai guy. Yeah, but he's it's supposed back. to be, like, his, from his perspective. Yeah, right. He got his he's, like, he's down See, look, check it out. Yeah. This, this motion picture is based upon true events of the life, life of, of Frank W. Frank Dukes. 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 of hell. That's how you know it's real, guys. That's how you know it's real. That was a true story. The Kumite actually happened. 1975 to 1980, Frank W. Ducks fought 329 matches. 329 matches. Undefeated as a World heavyweight full contact Kumite champ. Kumite. Kumite. Get it right. Kumite. Kumite. It's also champion. Committee. <laughs> Mr. Du Mr. Duke still holds Point four 12 world seconds. Fastest knockout. Fastest punch with a knockout. Point 12 seconds. Fastest 72 kick. mile an hour. A single. So he had 56 kick. fights in a single tournament. You're wow. kidding. And they knocked out. Who the hell? Who? This how do you know? Full of shit. How do you know the fastest <laughs> kick with a knockout? Nobody has. <laughs> somebody's got a radar gun aimed yeah, at his yeah. foot like the entire nobody match. Nobody saw this. There's no way you could prove yeah. that. Nope. 
first American ninjutsu. founded the ninjutsu system. Oh, yeah. Duke Ryu. Ryu trained Like, so Duke nobody Duke. saw that title card Duke's and said, Ryu. maybe we should check the math on this little bit. Right? Like, <laughs> Duke's Ryu. All right, everybody. That was, uh, that was fucking Bloodsport. That was Bloodsport. Blood yeah. Blood uh, do we, do we want to try to... A fight to survive! Do we want to try to pick the next one, or... We don't uh, have any plans for the next one. Dude, so. after seeing that... Well, yeah, we can would... talk about it a little bit. Are we back on your pick or my pick? Well, we did your pick, but the technical difficulties... Right, you know, so, right, right. Uh, since that hasn't aired, I would say this. It's your pick. Like, like dead ass is your pick. Ooh. Um, I think we're going to wait on it. This is coming out like in... You know, in Take another poll, now. yeah. Yeah, maybe. That worked oh, great. We'll, maybe. We'll figure maybe. something out. It did. Well, it worked good. That was fun. Oh, thanks. Thank you guys for coming. Did you, did you, have, did you have fun? Did y'all have Chris? fun? I had a yeah. great time. I got a, I just checked my phone and I got this emergency alert. So for anybody for that's listening floods. live right now, uh, there's a flash <laughs> <laughs> flood warning <laughs> in this area until 1 a.m. Central DT. Did you have fun? I had Sass a lot Street. of fun, yeah. Well, thank we, you guys uh, for we enjoyed having you, Sass Street. You. Maybe you might come back because we've already had Chris on before and this is his second appearance. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll, there'll be many more. Same, same with you. You know, you're you're always invited back. Thank you. Anytime, uh, unless I'm like fucking a girl. So anytime. Anytime. Cool. So, so anytime then. Great. Your schedule's wide open. <laughs> well, this this has been this has been A to Z Movie Night. Uh, thanks everybody for listening. If you like what you hear, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and find us on any of the places where you get your podcasts. From. And since you're listening to A to Z Movie Night and you're into this sort of thing, join the A to Z podcast podcast. podcast. Podcast group. It is the podcast group. Because uh, that's where we threw the poll up. We do so polls, we do discussions, and it's just a way to interact with us. So. You can interact with us, and you will directly affect the, the direction the show goes in. Awesome. Thank you, guys. See Laters. you later.